A very pleasant good afternoon ladies and gentlemen. Welcome once again to the People's Forum of Industries with Big Stone. Today ladies and gentlemen I was pointed to a video. It's a video that I think has gone viral right across the world. It's a video of dancehall superstar Mr. Vegas in church with Pastor Gino Jennings discussing the Bible and what took place ladies and gentlemen was so frightening I want you to watch this just take a look and watch what happened in a church take a look right. we're gonna bring this to an end you know why right. this hypocrite no he ain't got no Bible this hypocrite this hypocrite knows All right. this hypocrite knows that I got the Bible take to defeat seat. what he said about Young women. Man. Play the take tape. Take a seat. Play take the seat. tape. Take a seat. All right, Vegas, take your seat. He is lying. Sit him down. He is a liar Sit him and down. deceiver. Sit him down. Play the tape. Sit him down. Sit Play him the tape. Down. Play the tape. I'm already here. Sit him I'm down. I'm already here. Brother Mike. I'm already here. Call the police if you gotta move me. Play the tape. Now, ladies and gentlemen, we come to hear Bible. I don't want your mouth. I want Bible. He got over social media, all that bad mouth. Oh, now, they... all of a sudden, he need to hear the tape. Let's deal with Bible. In the beginning was the word. Everybody be quiet. To my viewers, this is the same Mr. Vegas that got all the mouth. All right, security, usher him out. Security, usher him out. Usher him out. Please don't touch me, please don't touch me. Usher him me. out. No. Usher him out. Usher him out. You are not a police Usher officer. him out. Take his microphone and usher him out. Uh, take his microphone and usher him out. Take his microphone and usher him out. Take his microphone and usher him out. Take his microphone. Just a minute. Just a minute. Take his microphone. Usher him out. Take his microphone and usher him out. Take his microphone. Usher him out. Usher him out. Usher him out. Usher him out. It ain't nobody, just a minute, nobody is coming in First Church and think you're going to take over First Church. Not here. Not here. Now that you've seen the videos, ladies and gentlemen, I want you to formulate your own decision as to what you think took place here today. In the first part of May, there was an article that came out in one of our newspaper that Mr. Vegas was invited and on the list of a debate with Pastor Gina Jennings and others about a statement that was made by Pastor Gina Jennings calling women who wear makeup, whores, etc, etc. Mr. Vegas was overseas at the time and uh, he came out and said that the newspaper, one of our favorite newspaper, called him to verify if he knew anything about this debate that was about to take place on the 26th or the 27th. Mr. Vegas flatly denies that he knows anything about this debate. But if it was done in the correct way, an invitation, etc., etc., then he has no problem in going in a debate with any pastors to debate the lies that are being fed to our people. Now, ladies and gentlemen, I want you to think about three words. I want you to think about the word tantrum. And I'm going to tell you the meaning. I want you to think about the word ushered. And I'm going to tell you the meaning. And I also want you to think about the word 
photosynthesis. Now let's take a look at the newspaper article that started all this. Let's take a listen. A sting we are go, Mr. Vegas is ready for a showdown with Gina Jennings. I want you to pay attention to this title of this newspaper article because later on you will see the fullness of the story unfold. At first, Mr. Vega said he was not called to a debate. But then when I look at the newspaper, this is what it says later on. It was dated on May 12, 2018. It says, Entertainer Mr. Vegas says he will be showing up to have a discussion with Pastor Gina Jennings when the controversial clergyman comes to Jamaica this month end. Mr. Vegas told the star that after calling out Jennings and his team for unofficially naming him as one of the persons to clash with the pastor at a religious event on the weekend of May 26 or 27, he received his official invite and is looking forward to the discussion. Just relax, we're going to get through this. Speaking with the newspaper before receiving the official invite, Mr. Vegas encouraged Jamaicans not to be tricked into going to the event as he was not asked to be a part of any religious debates. He revealed he had no issues going head to head with Jennings, but expressed the need for the man of God to go about things the right way. Now that he has received his invite, Vegas said he would be at the event set for the YMCA on May 27th and is asking everyone interested in hearing what he has to say to come out to the event. Mr. Vegas has never been a no-show for any event that he was advertised for, as it is not in keeping with good morals or professional business principle, part of his statement to the media said. The statement also mentioned that an infringement on his Mr. Vegas rights occurred and he could have opted to take legal actions but will withhold. The entertainer said he's on phase that he may be the only one to clash Jennings as the other pastors have said they will not be attending because they were not invited before being advertised. The entertainer says being the only one will give him more time to go in on Jennings. As thing we are go and the less pastors show up the more time we have with him. We're inviting people from all different sectors and belief to come out if you're against sexism, religion that was used to oppress black people, if you're against dictatorship, or if you're a Christian that wants to defend Pastor Jennings, you're invited to be a part of this discussion. Now, ladies and gentlemen, the article went on. But let's just go into these words that I mentioned earlier. Let's look at the first word, ushered. Let's take a look at the word ushered and see what the word ushered mean. Usher, U-S-H-E-R. It means to show or guide someone somewhere. Synonyms means escort, accompany, help, assist, Take, show, see, and lead. That's the meaning of the word ushered, which means if you go inside of a church, there are ushers that will take you to your seat, they will point you to where the bathroom is, they'll show you where other stuffs are in a nice, welcoming manner. Now let's take a look at the word hustled. H-U-S-T-L-E. Let's take a listen. Hustled. H-U-S-T-L-E. Push roughly aside. Jostled. Bump. Knock. Shove. Nudge. Elbow. Shoulder. 
You see what the word asl mean? Asl is the opposite of the word ushered. Usl is the opposite of the word ushered. Ushered means you nicely and gently and so on take someone from point A to point B. But the word usl means to make sure you get that person out there real quick by any means necessary. Whether you have to push them, shove them, elbow them or whatever you have to do. Now when you listen to the tape that is by now viral. You'll hear Pastor Jennings saying these words, ushered him out. Take the microphone and ushered him out. He said that word about 10 to 15 times. But what we saw wasn't Vegas being ushered out. We saw Mr. Vegas being hustled out of that church. Now we beg to ask a question. You know I'm not a fan of Mr. Vegas because we have had our crossing in recent times. But I want to be truthful to myself. I want to be truthful to who I am as a black man. I want to be truthful as a vlogger and I also want to be truthful for the world to see what has been going on. Ladies and gentlemen, within the twinkling of an eye, when Pastor Gina Jennings used the word ushered, there were at least six to eight or ten men on the stage, some purporting to be police officers. Because if you look at the tape, there was an individual that pushed his hand in his right pants pocket and produced briefly what was supposed to be an ID. And if you listen closely, you'll hear him use the word, I'm a policeman. Listen to the video. But how they dealt with Mr. Vegas was like he was a hooligan, he was a rubble rouser, he was a troublemaker, he was not invited there for a debate, and they dealt with him in the worst inhumane manner one could ever understand. A church. Let's take a listen at what a church means. A church is not a building. A church is a group of people that congregates in a religious manner to worship the Almighty. So how is it? Because Mr. Vegas asked the question, let's go to the videotape. How did it get to the point where it was forcefully removed from this building? Ladies and gentlemen, let me tell you something. There's a lot of things going on in this country that we're really not sure, we're not aware of. Uh, there's a word that comes to mind, tantrum. Did Mr. Vegas just went into a tantrum and they had to remove them? Did you see tantrum anywhere? Let's take a, a listen to what the word tantrum means. T-A-N-T-R-U-M. An uncontrolled outburst of anger and frustration, typically in a young child. Now, Mr. Vegas did not demonstrate that kind of an attitude. I don't know if he did in the first half of the video because we only saw two minutes plus. But if one should show a tantrum, it would be more so Pastor Gina Jennings when he said, usher him out, take the microphone and ushered him out. And he repeatedly said that. What are we supposed to believe? Are we supposed to believe that one can speak without being uh, derogatory in a house of worship. I've not heard Mr. Vegas use any form of profanity. All I heard Mr. Vegas said he called him a liar and he said he was a fake. Now, if you are a man of intellectual capabilities 
and you're having a debate and someone calls you a liar or a fake, does that give you the right to say, turn off the microphone and usher the him out of there? It makes me wonder, ladies and gentlemen. There's a lot more to this than will unfold in days to come. Does Mr. Vegas have a lawsuit for an assault? Because here's a man that was invited to an event. And then, because the conversation or the debate didn't go to one's expectation, he was forcefully removed like a common criminal from a place of worship. Mr. Vegas is an international recording artist. One that has many hits, of course, his action from time to time makes me wonder. But he's still my brother and um, I'm not going to throw him under the bus because I'm not sure, I'm not sure of what is happening. The word photosynthesis come to mind. And let's go back and see what the word photosynthesis means. Let's take a listen. Photosynthesis. The process by which green plants and some other organisms use sunlight to synthesize nutrients from carbon dioxide and water. Photosynthesis in plants generally involve the green pigment chlorophyll and generates oxygen as a byproduct. Now ladies and gentlemen, there's something wrong with either our food, water supply, something that has changed some of us here in Jamaica to the point where these things that you see playing out to happen. Was Mr. Vega set up? Was Mr. Vega set up because he has a big song by the name of the Wakanda Jam? Now, if you listen to the words of that jam, that song came out uh, in April and it has garnered over 957,000 views, almost a million views. And in the song, you'll see dark skinned women, light skinned women gyrating and jamming their bodies together. Mr. Vegas is saying that he's going to bring back the togetherness of the dance song. Mr. Vegas also used the word Buller, B U L L A, and it does not mean Jamaican Buller. Buller in Barbados means homosexual. Buller in Barbados means you're gay. Buller in Barbados means that you like the same sex. Is Mr. Vegas onto something here? Let's see how this one plays out, ladies and gentlemen. But my heart mourns to see what took place today. How they rabble rouse this young man. How they destroy this young man. How they brought this young man practically to his knees. It's a shame. And that's why my church, my God, my belief remains my solely belief. No man can force me to believe what they are believing. I'm going to leave that with you ladies and gentlemen. Think for yourself. Open up your mind. Think for yourself. Because the truth crushed to earth must rise. Thank you all for watching. And I do hope you can have a great day. Thank you.